Hi guys, it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video allow me to give an update about our fish here in the house. Well, we are on a lockdown and with the help of our staff, we are now able to segregate all the breeders. In this video, we are going to emphasize the importance of segregating our breeder mollies. We will focus on the mollies because I feel the need now to address the issues about the snails, about the plants, about the anchor worms, and even the temperature during the summer. As you can see here, I made a makeshift of roofing because our fish will not really survive with that high temperature. Though the summer is almost to come to an end, but nowadays it's really very warm that we have to address these issues. Now, the main thing that I would like to emphasize today is the presence of the snail. As you can see, I have already removed all the snails. Some of the snails were already fed to our chicken because the snails now are destroying our breeding. They eat some of our breeders. They will also eat the plants. That is the hiding place of the babies. So this is now the scenario. You can see here, there are a lot of snails right here. And my way of controlling the snails is to remove all their eggs. These are the snails that became pests. But this can be fed to our chicken. And this can be a good source also of protein for our chicken. And in our previous videos, we already had made mention about the importance also of the snails to our chicken. You will see that our breeding tank have mixed fish. In this tank, I supposed to have only swordtails. But if you will see here, there are zebras, there are swordtails, there are blue moon, and there are gold dust. And they are mixing up. And one of the things that is really very important, especially in breeding live bearers, is to have an exclusive place for each kind of fish. What I mean is that if you have a balloon molly, then you cannot mix the balloon molly with this gold dust, this liar tail mollies, because it will really spoil the breeding. We will not have any more the quality control of our fish. So guys, you will see that these balloon mollies are really very healthy, but there is a problem. There is really a problem. Why? Because you will see that some of them are no longer balloon. You will see this one. This is the product of mixed breeding. You see that? This is supposedly a balloon molly. And the reason for this is the lack of quality control. I failed to monitor very closely this breeding tank because my principle is whenever I see a fish that is not rounded, meaning it's not a balloon molly, I really have to get that immediately. But I was too busy, you know. We also have a farm that is located far from here. That's why I failed to monitor this one. And today, I really have to address this. You see this one? I am going to remove this ordinary silver molly from this tank. This is a breeding tank. And uh, this fish should not be here. And another thing, I saw some strangers here. This stranger should not be here in the breeding tank. Well, we can put this in the grow-out tank altogether but in the breeding tank we should segregate the fish that are not of the same species like this one this is a 24k molly unless you wanted to produce a 24k balloon we will use this one but my intention is really to maintain a good quality of balloon silver molly so i have to remove this one and as you will know we already have produced and in fact already have sold 
thousands of this balloon molly. Before the lockdown, we were able to ship to different islands in Bungao, in Sulu, and in Basilan, and even in the neighboring provinces. But today we are on a lockdown, and you will see that our fish have been stuck here because no one will buy because we're precluded from going out of the city. So you will see that they have here so many babies. Abby will do the segregation. That's gonna be the scope of our work for today. Because I have prepared a big tank. This is supposedly our filtration tank. But I am going to temporarily use this one as the grow out tank for our mollies. Because we have produced thousands of them already. So guys, you will see this uh, three months old balloon mollies and my problem is the lack of tank i use this tank as our breeder tank for the sword tail but uh, since i run short of the space i temporarily use this for the grow out tank of our balloon mollies and you will see the situation now they're mixing up they're already big and some of them have already babies but the babies are no longer balloon because there are some gold dust some black molly some chocolate molly that are here what we will do now is to get all these balloon mollies and we will put them in a single container so we will do this process now we will catch all of this well just don't be disturbed by this uh, temporary roofings i made this one because the heat is really very detrimental now to our fish so we will get some of them in fact I estimated this to reach around 2,000 mollies that are here. And the sword tails are also here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is the result of this pandemic. This is supposedly been sold already to other pet shops. But because of the pandemic, we are overstocked now with our fish. You see that balloon? Okay. So we will place down. So guys, this is the result of mixed breeding. These are not good because you cannot identify whether this is a black molly, this is a silver molly. If you will also allow cross breeding, you can produce like this one. This is a balloon, but not black, not silver. You will see the color that's really very ugly. So I would like to emphasize for us to maintain good quality of our fish, we have to strictly monitor. My way of selecting good breeders is to get some fish like this. You will see it's really rounded. So I will now also segregate the sword tail because the sword tail will supposedly have different tanks. They should not be mixed together with other fish. We have also here baby sword tails. But some of them were already eaten up by the bigger fish, the balloon mollies. So guys, let me also give you an update about our grow out tank that's here. So guys, this is our grow out tank. We mixed all the babies of this balloon, the sword tail, the leopard. We also have here the gold dust, the lyre tail, the black swords, and all kinds of fish are here this is not the breeding tank this is a grow out tank but then they are already big that some of them have already produced babies and this is not a good idea this is a bad idea producing babies of fish out of mix or cross breeding the gold dust is breeding with the chocolate mollies and the chocolate Mollies is breeding with the same fin and it's really bad. So my intention now is to get all the adult fish and we will segregate that in a separate tank. By the way, I have here babies. Hey, look at these babies. There are too many. These are babies of the chocolate, babies of the balloon. They are mixed. So we cannot just allow these things to happen because as what I have said, we will really lose the good quality of our fish so for us to have a good view at this we will put this in the aquarium these babies will be harvested for a period of three to four months 
if you have a live food, well, we can harvest this at three months. This tank also has babies of the sword tail. Uh, this tank also has babies of the smallies. And my intention is to put all these babies now there, over there. I, I asked Joseph and Ryan to uh, do some cleaning because over there will be temporarily be the place for our baby mollies. And allow me to give you also an update about our catfish. So guys, I utilized this tank for our breeder catfish. In the previous videos that we had, we made a film on how to artificially breed this catfish. And this catfish are just very easy to propagate because you will have the full control of the breeding because they are being bred artificially and I already have grown some hundreds if not thousands of this catfish and we will see their sizes now so guys these are the catfish that we have produced and we have produced them massively some of them were already thrown in that big tank and we were able to get some samples just to have an update about the catfish that we have bred just uh, how many weeks ago they are really big now and i hope we can be able to have a big catfish farm in the future that's my dream and please dream with me i'm always inspired to give you some technologies about the breeding of the several types of fish because my intention in doing this channel is to help other people, especially those who are interested in alternative way of having an income out of this backyard breeding of this ornamental fish. The breeders are here and we are scheduled to breed again this week. And you will see that those tanks that are there are prepared for the spawning tank of our catfish. I'm planning to integrate the catfish in the farm of our chicken and turkey. So this is our, our dream to really have an integrated farming of fish, ducks, geese, quails, and even this chicken. That's going to be the future endeavor that we're going to see on this channel. To tell you honestly, guys, I made a mistake over this, this filter tank because i used a two inches in diameter pvc this is not anymore working because it had been stuck by dirt so the, the water could not just freely flow in because of some dirt so i have to make some adjustment i will use the four inches in diameter pvc pipe and i will get all the stones from here and that's gonna be a hard labor for us to get all the stones and we will place a big PVC that will allow the free flow of the water and then the water will rise up already clean so these are the mistakes that I have made and of course we can learn from our failures and this is one I would like to recommend that if you are going to imitate this kind of filtration system please do not use this kind of size of pump use the bigger ones so that the dirt will not clog inside the pipe and don't you know that the hornwort is also good for the catfish you will see that this tank has 200 breeders of catfish and this tank has no filtration system anymore what we do is we will just put some water regularly not every day but maybe two times a week we're putting new water and allow the old water to drain but what helps in the filtration of the water is this hornwort and this is the kind of plant that is really very helpful in fish keeping this hornwort is just very easy to propagate the catfish will not eat the hornwort but they consider this as their hiding place now we cannot see the catfish because they are already being fed but later this afternoon if they are already hungry we can see them and there are i think i think more than 200 breeders that are here so guys we're here at the tank of our guppies 
and many have asked for the update of our guppies. Well, our guppies are just here, and I have controlled the breeding of these guppies because there are tendencies that they will massively produce babies. That's why I sold some of my breeders. I get only some, those that are young and have good colors and good body shape. And they are here. We will put this inside the aquarium. And you will see that these guppies are really good. Some of our subscribers and followers were consistently asking how to get our guppies. They are from in other countries like America. We have from India. We have from all over parts of Asia and they wanted to avail of our guppies. Well, this will not survive in a very long trip. That's why I really have to tell you that as of the moment, we cannot send our guppies abroad yet because we still have to comply with the strict importation rules. And another thing is that our guppies cannot survive in a very long trip. They cannot survive in inside the plastic within long period of time. So you will see that our guppies are here. Come on. I only maintain 50 breeders. And one of the, the things that will make you become very successful about breeding guppies is this plants. Of course, you will provide always with plants because this will be the hiding place of the babies allow me to take this opportunity to explain to you the breeding of guppies well the secret is we will not overfeed the guppies meaning we will only feed them with a sufficient amount of food that will be consumed in a day you cannot give extra food because this food that are unconsumed will become now the source of the bacteria. We have to regularly clean our guppy tank and of course we have to provide plants because the plants will really help in the conditioning of the water especially if you are maintaining a small tank. So this is the tip that we can give to you. So we have here some babies, you will see that? The babies are just here and there are hundreds of them that are here actually and I am not anymore segregating the babies because I provided them with so many plants. And you want to see our beta? Well, our betas are here. These are all breeders. And this rainy season, I will start to breed beta again. I stopped breeding beta because of the issues of the food. We cannot get the dapnia because the dapnias are very hard to get, especially during the summertime. So we will breed again our fish, our betta fish, as soon as the rain comes. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos and you will not hesitate to subscribe if you are new to our channel. And we are regularly uploading videos and pictures on our Facebook, our Instagram, and even in YouTube community. So thank you for watching only here at Dexter's World.